welcome back to Victoria's Educational Services, where I break down difficult concepts into easy steps. Our objective for today is to investigate and use the formulas for area and perimeter of rectangles. This lesson covers Standard 4.MD.3 and is based on Eureka Math Module 3, Lesson 1. Before we begin, here's the answer to my previous video's question. I'll link it in the upper right-hand corner for anyone who wants to watch it. Please comment whether you are able to solve it on your own or if you need more help. Okay, let's get started. The directions state, determine the perimeter and area of rectangles A and B. So let's start with the area formula, which is length times width. So I'm writing length times width. And that gives us our area. So to find the length of rectangle A, I need to count the boxes going down the side of rectangle A. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, so my length is 9. And to find the width, I'm going to count the boxes going across the top of rectangle A. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, so next you plug in your numbers in your formula. So my length was 9. So I'll write 9 times my width is 7. And I know 9 times 7 equals 63. And if you didn't know that, you can write your times tables right on the side of your work um, until you get up to 9 times 7, which is 63. So when we work with area, we have to make sure we label 63 square units. Okay, so when you write your area, you should write the word square or SQ for short and units. You write units if you don't have a measurement. So if it was centimeters, you would write 63 square centimeters. But right now, uh, we don't have a label, so we're just using units. Okay, I'm changing colors for our next step. All right, so the formula for perimeter is 2 times length plus width. Okay, so 2 times length plus width. All right, so our length was 9. So we're doing 2 times 9 plus, our width was 7. Then we're doing 2 times 9 plus 7. So 9 plus 7 is 16. All right. 2 times 16 gives us 32. So our answer is 32 units. We only use square when we multiply, when we're doing the area formula. But for perimeter, we're just using units. If it was inches, we would say 32 inches. If it was centimeters, we would say 32 centimeters. Okay, so we're going to move on to B. So rectangle B has a length of, let me change colors, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I'll write 6. And there is a width of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Your area formula equals length times width. 6 times 9 equals 54. And because we're using area and we're multiplying, we are going to write 54 square units. Remember, if they gave us a measurement like inches or centimeters, meters, anything like that, then it would be square meters, square centimeters, and so on. All right, so for the last one, I'll change colors again. So let's find the perimeter of rectangle B. So our perimeter formula was 2 times length plus width. So we're doing 2 times 
our length, which was six, plus our width, which is nine. And that's going to give us our perimeter. Two times 17 equals 34. All right, remember our answer is 34 units. Okay, if we were working with inches, it would be 34 inches. If it was meters, it would be 34 meters. Um, but just make sure you label your numbers. Okay, so I hope this tutorial clarified how to use the area and perimeter formulas on rectangles. If you have any questions, please leave a comment and I'll be happy to help. That's all for today. Thank you so much for joining me. I really hope this video helped you. Please like and subscribe so that I can continue to provide free educational videos. Comment with any questions or suggestions for tutorials that you would like to see next. Until next time, bye!